Hi guys, it's June 20, 2019. Uh, yeah, I know Iran shot down a U.S. military drone. Is this the start, the official start of World War III? I don't know. And you know what? The truth is, I... It's not that it's a want or a that I don't want to engage in this, I can't anymore. I just can't. I, I, look, the world has become mad. The madness is all over, uh, and we don't know what is true, what is false, is it a lie, uh, is someone telling the truth? We don't know. And when that happens for me, I lose interest. I lose interest. That's why I stopped buying the New York Times. I don't know how long ago. It was uh, 2006 or seven. I went to the store where I bought that New York Times and I literally, as I was reaching down to pick it up, I just took a step back and I've never bought it again. And I bought it every single day. Why? Because I heard myself say, why are you buying something that you're reading, you don't even know if what you're reading is true or not. I don't know. You know but I do go to Drudge just to see what is going on with mainstream media. And the it's insane. Insane. Now, if you're not overwhelmed with the madness, then maybe you just don't have, you know, a big picture. Uh, the big picture of what is taking place. Now, Texas Hispanic population on pace to sur surpass whites. Uh, Trump considers Iran response. Stocks soar to new highs as Fed warns economy slows. The economy has been slowing for a very long time. More and more Americans are falling into or off the financial cliff. Uh, and all you do, all you get is Trump. <laughs> you know, singing praise about himself, the economy is better than it ever has been, as it's crumbling. This, this country is the Roman Empire. We're collapsing. And every single day, we see more and more evidence. It's piling up. We are collapsing. Now, I'm going to go through some headlines just to show the idiocy of what is taking place. We're gone. We're gone. There is no pulling anything back. Americans are truly gone. And they are not thinking for themselves. The majority. Mainstream media and government officials are doing all the thinking for them. And that in itself causes life to really turn surreal. What we're doing is living two realities. Two realities. And unfortunately, one of those realities, it has the majority of the population who stop thinking for themselves and they just, whatever the TV says, that's what's going on. And then the minority reality is, well, those who actually do research to find out what is true? They critically think, they gather facts and evidence, they weigh that, you know, what the information that they have obtained, they weigh the facts and evidence, and they come up with a conclusion. Oh my, that's bad today. That's not good. It's not a good character trait today. But I look at these headlines and I, I, I think to myself, this is, uh, 
we truly have become just a nation of imbeciles. Imbeciles. All right. So, yeah, they shot down this drone and they posted a video on social media on the shooting of it. <laughs> this, this, look, Iran. Now, we all know Iran has not invaded any other country in how many hundreds of years. But do I know if Iran is really not part of this new world order? I don't. Nobody does, unless you're an insider. And I love the comments that I get from Trump supporters. You just don't do the research on what really is happening. You just don't understand what's happening behind the scenes, as if they do. N none of us do. But, you know, watch this video. It's... <laughs> Isn't it great music? Entertaining, right? So they put this music to this shoot down of a U.S. military drone? Shock and awe. Remember? Shock and awe. Every friggin' night on every news channel. Shock and awe. As Americans sat watching. A country, a people, get destroyed. Yeah, look, um, if the American people weren't a violent people, violence would not have so quickly sold to them. They would not have been so, you know, caught up in it. And look at what has happening. What what has happened? You know, this, this TV programming, I don't have TV, but when I would go visit this elderly woman here, she always had the TV on. It's horrifying, horrifying to see what is on TV. There's a program called Mom, uh, I think CBS, and the main characters, all women, they're in Alcoholics Anonymous certainly doesn't reflect Alcoholics Anonymous, though I have to say Alcoholics Anonymous has really changed, uh, but they explicitly talk about sex, and that's between a mother and a daughter. The explicit sex acts. They also compete as to who's going to be like the best liar. They lie and lie and lie. They laugh about it and they praise one another and themselves. You know, when they're constructing a really good lie. Good lie. And this is what kids are watching. What are our values here? What do we value? Money and violence. War. And Trump warns, you'll soon find out what my response will be. Subscribers have left comments saying that they believe this is just a distraction. It may very well be. But Britain announced it will be deploying UK special forces to the Gulf. India now is sending uh, this major naval 
deployment into the Gulf. Could this be the start? Yeah. Okay, well, it's going to start or it's not. Um, but we've got fighting going on all over the world. So, uh, and Trump, man, woof. I think he's back to saying ISIS has been destroyed. <laughs> this is what we listen to. One week, he says, we have been victorious over ISIS. Then the next week, oh, and, you know, with that, we're pulling our our troops out of Syria. Well, wait, wait, wait. Didn't, no boots on the ground in Syria? That's what Obama said. While there were boots on the ground. All right. So, but then the next week, he's sending more over to Syria. This is, there, look. I don't know how anybody is still in this matrix uh, because if you are a thinking individual, you go insane. You go insane. I have been a news buff my entire life. And for the past several months, I have felt myself, it, it's, it repulses me, everything I'm seeing. It just, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. So yeah, those who emailed me, oh, Iran shoots down military drone. I have to say, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. What I care about, the fellow Americans, our fellow Americans, more and more have had homes destroyed With, within the last couple of months. I'm going to guess. We must have probably four or five hundred thousand homes and businesses and farms destroyed. Uh, maybe that is a little bit too much, but what are these people going to do? So many Americans no longer have a home. Do we hear anything from Trump? No, nothing. Off his radar. Off his radar. That guy who loves Americans. More roads. Gone. This is New York. Rain is destroying infrastructure all over the country. This flooding that comes about. More homes in New Jersey now flooded out. Uh, and the flooding is incredible. Flooding closes multiple roads in Kalamazoo. Flooding strands drivers in New Jersey. Severe weather spurs flooding in New Jersey. Flash flooding may have caused a sinkhole on Grove City Bridge. Heavy rains lead to Waldo Stadium flooding. North Utica, New York, and Oswego, New York. Senior citizens evacuated from their homes. There are so many senior citizens now that where what what are the, what are people doing? Because so many have nothing. It's uh, this was filtered. These are the new videos of the flooding. New Jersey, Philadelphia. And we hear nothing, nothing from Trump on this. Department of Homeland Security to move biometric data on hundreds of millions of people to Amazon Cloud. We still can't get through to our fellow Americans that yes, Google, YouTube, Amazon, uh, Instagram, Twitter, they're government surveillance sites. Oh, but I like Alexa, so I'm going to stick it in my home as she records everything that is being said 
in their home. We can't get out of a nightmare when we have the majority of the people loving that nightmare. Oregon <laughs> Governor Kate Brown sent the state police to find missing Republicans. Those Republicans, 11 of them, went missing, went into hiding so they would deprive Governor Kate Brown of a quorum necessary to pass climate change legislation, yeah, to impose higher taxes on you guys in Oregon. Most Americans have no clue what their state governments are doing, what their local governments are doing, because I guess entertainment has just usurped everything. When I saw that Marianne Williamson entered the race to become President of the United States, this was months ago, I lit my jaw dropped. I thought, okay, we're gone. We are so gone. We are just gone. This New Age guru thinks she's qualified to be the President. She's so spiritual. I saw her speak had speak. I got my uh, New York accent back. I saw her speak in New York in the 80s. All of my friends were just so wowed by Marianne Williamson. And I was sitting there listening and I thought this this is the spiritual road. This is spirituality. Uh I was so, and I still am, very grateful that I met some incredible people when I first entered Alcoholics Anonymous, 21 years of age. And boy, did they put me on the right road, the right spiritual road. I'm listening to this woman and I'm thinking, this sounds awfully self-centered. This sounds kind of like... Um, well, the spiritual road, it's about loving who you are. It's about thinking that you're great, thinking that you can do anything, and, and material gain. I don't know, it sounded awfully uh, not on that road. So, my friends were completely just enthralled. Oh, Marianne Williamson. And I, the same thing with Obama. He comes on the scene. All of my friends. Oh my God, he walks on water. Oh, he's so spiritual. And I'd, I'd be like, what is spiritual about this guy? What We don't even know anything about him. How come mainstream media isn't really saying anything much about him? All right, well, I was considered dark. I'm dark. And I'd be like, okay, I'm dark. Uh, why? Because I want to find out something about this guy, and I don't think that he walks on water. Well, you know what? This spiritual guru doesn't have a very strong moral core. So she said, I can't believe that she is actually campaigning to be the president. We're, we're gone. But, but this, this country is gone. Sorry. But she said in New Hampshire, her qualifications to be, you know, be the president is that she's an American woman. Oh, I guess I'm qualified too, huh? But she also said, Mandatory vaccination is draconian, Orwellian. All right, that's true. She got backlash, so she came out and apologized. What are you apologizing for? It's true. You're apologizing for stating the truth. Oh, I see, you're apologizing because she got backlash, and now You've got to, uh, you know, because you clearly think you might win, I guess. So you've got to apologize. I wouldn't. 
I would not apologize. Uh, whether vaccines are safe or not, everyone has a right to choose. Every individual has the right to make that decision, whether or not they're going to be vaccinated, and parents have the right to make a decision whether or not they're going to vaccinate their children. So that's what a free country is, right? So these mandatory um, mandatory vaccine, this, these bills that are being passed all over, it is draconian. So why did you apologize? Because you're more about yourself than the truth. Here, California, Newsom. Well, I guess they passed a universal health care bill, uh, which includes illegal residents who will get now Medi-Cal. Really? Expanding Medi-Cal to illegal immigrants while forcing taxpayers to put the bill through individual mandate penalties. Why aren't Americans, um, you know, screaming, getting rid of these... All right. Well, just allowing these individuals, these few individuals, to pass laws that make your life harder and harder and harder, and we, we just take it. Californians who do not buy insurance, they will now be hit with a penalty of $695 or 2% of their household income, whichever figure is higher. But now you're footing the bill for illegal aliens as they will get on Medi-Cal. You know, you, you, we used to just, well, you had to be a citizen before you could get, you know, these benefits and all this kind of stuff. Now, well, doesn't, well, they want to open the borders. That's part of the New World Order. Yeah. And California, ma'am, you are. The residents, look, um, California property crime surge <laughs> is an unintended consequence of Prop 47. I didn't know about this until yesterday. Prop 47 passed. Californians voted for Prop 47 and 60% of Californians passed this law uh, to lower criminal penalties for various property and drug offenses and thereby ease the state's prison overcrowding problem. It triggered major unintended consequences that have harmed tens of thousands of law-abiding property owners, and it continues to inflict economic and psychological damages. It's the reduced penalties for some crimes initiative. And you know what? It, it, I posted a video on Texas or Houston or Dallas, Dallas. Uh, they passing or the DA actually, just rewrote the law in Dallas and said it's just going to be a misdemeanor for anybody who steals anything worth, I can't remember how much, was it 600 or $700, I can't remember. In California, Prop 47 uh, made stealing anything $950 or less, a misdemeanor. All you do is just get cited. Now, you can steal $950 worth of property and you won't go to jail. Well, what did that do? Break-in surged? <laughs> Shoplifting spiked? Um, and they didn't realize that that would be the consequence? Do you get how Americans are not really thinking very well? But what happens to the young? 
Suicide rates among young Americans accelerate. Highest level since 2000. You know, these kids have nothing. They have, they have nothing. They know it. They know it. They go through 12 friggin' years, or even more, of being told, there's nothing special about you. You're just like every other student all over the world. You're a global citizen, and there ain't anything special about you. They go through these indoctrination uh, schools, which destroy their authentic self and their critical thinking. Don't you think that they know there's no jobs out there? Of course they know. Of course they know. And what are they growing up with? Nothing that resembles meaningful. Who do they look up to? Do they look up to the bully in the White House that stands at a bullpit? Um, and I, you listen to how our government officials speak. You listen to how they, you watch how they act. And they're so unbelievably immature, insane, no dignity. It's gone. And then, you know, they're sitting, they're playing these violent video games, watching TV that is like, Everything is just a joke, not teaching them anything that is of substance. But then you have so many of these kids on medications. Yes, antidepressants increase the risk of suicide, violence, homicide. The FDA admitted in 2007 SSRIs can cause madness at all ages and that the drugs are very dangerous. Otherwise, daily monitoring wouldn't be needed. And the FDA, families and caregivers of patients should be advised to look for the emergence of such symptoms of a day-to-day, -day, on a day-to-day -day basis, since changes may be abrupt. abrupt. All patients being treated with antidepressants for any indication should be monitored. monitored appropriately and observed closely for clinical worsening, suicidality, and unusual changes in behavior, especially during the initial few months of a course of drug therapy, or at times of dose changes, either increases or de decreases the following symptoms, anxiety, agitation, panic attacks, insomnia, irritability, hostility, aggressiveness, impulsivity, uh, psychomotor restlessness, hypomania, and mania. Oh, and how many of these kids are on these medications? We're screwed. We are so unbelievably screwed. And I meant for that another video, but CDC says U.S. birth rate down, death rates are up. Now, if Americans actually had a big picture view of what has taken place just in this country alone, I have to wonder if they would be horrified. I don't think they would. Not at this point. Not at this point. Yes, the population is decreasing rapidly and changing. Demographics changing. Um, it's all it's all happening. The agendas continue at a rapid pace. And we have so many awake who are actually supporting this guy. Supporting a guy who's rolling out 5G. Who, oh, where's that vaccine commission? Never happened. Hey, getting rid of Common Core. Never happened. Uh, the trade agreement with Mexico and Canada that calls for global government.
He appoints people to head our federal agencies who are essentially, you know, the uh, puppets for the United Nations to implement Agenda 2030. He sure as hell does not have much compassion for all of those who are being flooded on a daily basis. Uh, the list is long. The economy. So many Americans continue to fly off the financial cliff. We're collapsing. But hey, make America great again. Holy shit. This, this it's like, uh, uh, so surreal that even Kafka would be, wow, why didn't I think about all of this? Why didn't I write? Why didn't I have the imagination to capture what would be happening decades later after my death? I don't know what to make of anything anymore, guys. If you do, hey, please leave a comment below. But, and I live the insanity too in real life. I live the lying. I live the violence. I live watching, you know, the, the TV told me. I hear that from people. The TV told me. And I see Americans don't care about anything. Well, that means we will continue to rapidly collapse. The door is closing. It's closing. And that, I guess, is when Americans will wake up. No, they won't. They won't. They will continue on living delusional. 